Here comes a reckoning. The archer of infamy, ready to pass judgment. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest. The size of Damian Priest, his intensity, he is easily one of the most imposing superstars in WWE. From the moment the Archer of Infamy sets his sights on you, you know you're in trouble. When Priest goes after someone, he does not miss. Just an eerie hush has taken over this entire arena. We are in the midst of an instantly intimidating presence. No one knows what to make of him. The dangerous mystique of Bray Wyatt. Wyatt is as twisted and demented as they come. With Bray Wyatt, you can only expect the unexpected. He is preparing to go one-on-one -on -one with one of the most destructive forces in WWE in Damian Priest. There is fury in the air as this Nicole's Bard match gets going. This is the kind of environment these competitors needed to be in to work out their issues. No holds barred meets no limits. This is how they can fully express the contempt and animosity they have for one another. A oh, big punch. Ouch. <laughs> Stiff headbutt. Oh, 
Could be nap time. How? Oh, could be night night time. No, no, maybe not. What a counter. Boom. Added momentum from the ropes. That's like getting hit by a charging bull. Priest wants to finish this one. This will do it. Broken arrow. Draped upside down in a tree of woe. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. A hockey stick? The goon wasn't on tonight's card. Was he? What a crossbody. No disqualifications has to benefit a certain type of superstar more than others, doesn't it, Corey? Get off your high horse, Cole. A no disqualifications match benefits the superstar who's smarter, faster, and better. Using the rules to your advantage doesn't make you the villain here. Oh, right to the throat. He's got him down. Is this it? Gets the shoulder up in one. Close call, but not enough yet. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. On the reversal by Priest. A oh, big punch. Ouch. Clearly, Bray Wyatt's mind game's not quite doing the trick right now. Damian looking to push the advantage after that. Tombstone slam. And shoulders are down. And Bray Wyatt kicks out. I didn't think this match was close to over. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. A steel chair? Something we all know could be a devastating weapon. Well, I thought we saw this reach the boiling point already, but boy, was I wrong. No, that shouldn't be a new feeling for you, Saxton. You should try being right once in a while, Byron. It feels good. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoyed every minute of it. at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Uh-oh. Drop. His shoulders are down. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Oh, right to the throat. Oof. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh, that's going to hurt. but for Wyatt, it's become habitual to take his opponent's worst punishment with a smile. That was close, but Damian Priest doesn't look like he's letting that distract him from the task at hand. Oh, my God, a steel chair! Boom! Priest, top turnbuckle. From the top. Crash landing. And look, now just unleashing a frenzy of brutality. Strikes over and over again. Whoa, 
Swinging that twin like McSorley. And he's ready to throw out all of the corn in this one. Bang! And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And this is going to be it! 